<laughs> oh. Okay. Hi, I'm Louise Field, founder of Adore Your Pelvic Floor. We give training days to health professionals and also we have the Adore Your Floor program for women in the community. And I'm with the lovely Diane, Dan Supreme. Yes, it! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> She's been practicing. <laughs> and Diane, she is a, um, a counsellor for women and um, couples as well. And she also is a consultant for businesses and um, organisations in the working environment. And the campaigner for Make <laughs> Men of Pause Matters, please look it up and see if you're happy to sign it. We would like you to. Um, we were just having a quick discussion about one of the types of HRT treatment. Mm -hmm. And I'd had a question put to me um, for a pharmacist and I so I bow down to all pharmacists. They, your knowledge is so great. And it's about horse hormone being in some of the HRT treatments. And so I had to bring this up with Diane. <laughs> and so she then told me what she's going to now tell you. Okay, so um, we're really talking here about estrogen. So there are two types of estrogen. There is a body identical plant derived estrogen. Um, which is in the majority of HRT products that are prescribed in the UK. But there is another type of oestrogen, which is a more sort of old-fashioned, I guess, oestrogen, um, which is called the very long name of conjugated equine oestrogen. And that essentially means horse's wee. Um, so it is urine that's extracted from pregnant mares um, and that then goes in to make up this product. So a couple of issues there. One is for me, that's the reason that I originally didn't take HRT because nobody told me that there was a plant derived one. So sorry about the grumbling in the background. That's the dog. Um, so that's why I didn't take it because nobody told me that there was a plant derived one, which I absolutely would have taken. Um, and the second thing is obviously for those of you who are vegan or vegetarian, um, I wouldn't take it because of the way that it's produced. I was very unhappy with that. But for those of you who are vegan or vegetarian, um, you need to know that that is how it's made because obviously that would not be something that you would want to be taking or using so it's fair to say that the very vast majority of estrogen that is available in the uk is body identical plant derived um, there are probably i think it's probably about two products now um, which are still conjugated equine estrogen um, probably those that begin with the letters P R E are the ones that are the most identifiable. So if your doctor offers you something that begins with P R E and conjugated equine estrogen is not something that you want to be using or taking, then it is absolutely fair for you to say, no, thank you. I would like a plant derived body identical estrogen. And is out that... of, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And what I found really interesting though was, um, with the amount of different types of estrogen that is available, you said how many were on the market-ish? And there's um, only... so there's so HRT products. There's around fifty HRT yeah, products. There's only about two products, but there's about two that, that have from yeah, the absolutely. So um, it is again, you know, kind of we come back to the same thing. It's about education. It's about knowing what's out there. Um, knowledge very much is power. Um, if you if you know the differences, it's about making an informed choice, really. It's about yeah. what's right for you. So I thought that was a really interesting and worthwhile point to put on. So thank you very much. We did Thanks a short video. <laughs>